Yeah, silliness aside. Um, this is a review of the Blast Ultimate Ears. <sighs> An absolutely fantastic Bluetooth speaker. Utterly and totally and hopelessly let down by the on phone app for it. The app um, has terrible reviews. The reason for this is it is so temperamental. Now, if we hop over to the back of the box, um, it says compatible with iPhones, iOS 10.2 and Android 5. That's a lie. This phone is Android 10, uh, it's Android 5. This phone is Android 5. The wife's phone is Android 5. And it doesn't work on Android 5. Okay, now Logitech have been no help in sorting this out. Uh, their help forms are full of people saying, I can't get to my Blast or my Mega Blast or whatever other speaker they've got in this range. And they say nothing. So the speaker is right there. The device app is right here. If we press begin setup, um, you have to turn everything on. So we'll turn location on. There we go. And we go back, looking for speaker. And it it sees the speaker. It's right here. The speaker is right here. Okay. Set up. Can't find speaker. And that's what it does on Android 5, 5.1, 5.12, and 5.13. Luckily, some friends I have at work have got Android 6. And so we set this up earlier today on the Wi-Fi at work. Alexa, tell me the time. And she thinks, because there's no Wi-Fi, she heard me. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Check out the help section in your Ultimate Ears app. Help section in the Ultimate Ears app, rubbish. Absolutely rubbish, okay? So, app, the Logitech, your app is broken. Please fix it for Android 5 and people will be a lot happier with you. I, right now, I'm knocking off two stars for that. What would be easily a five-star device is only a three-star device purely because of the app and the support experience around it. So they need to learn on that. But let's talk about the build quality. The build quality of this is absolutely fantastic. You have got the manual Bluetooth pairing, which is this little dot here, the power on or off, which makes these lovely sounds as it does stuff. Okay. We'll turn it back on. It's alive. Um, this, we think this is quite a poor design decision. People don't like that here. Um, the da -dum is connecting to the Bluetooth. It's actually just reconnected to my phone. So this is volume up and down. It can also keep vampires away. I've um, had everybody I've spoke to, so we're talking 10 or 12 people in the office. We're talking uh, the wife. We're talking other people I've seen. All say they don't like that that looks like a cross. Not because of the religious implication of it, just they don't quite, they don't like it. Okay, so that's that. Um, the completely other end of the build quality is this end. What's all this about? Well, if you only have the speaker, you have to open this up to get in there. So you lift this little tab and then we unscrew this little grommet okay or whatever it is and then we can take this seal off okay and that gives us access to the charging port okay so if you're it comes with a charger it comes with a quietly nice folded down euro or uk charger so this is how you get it to charge it up and this is how they hopefully keep water out of it otherwise i am going to be honest i do not dare throw this in water or try it as they show on the packaging in a pool i just don't want to do that okay um but when it is connected when you have got android 6 or above as far as i'm aware um it does connect to the internet it does set up your connection to amazon it does have the free offer for amazon unlimited music and it did seamlessly start playing items from my amazon music player cloud list that they they hold for me all absolutely fine okay the range in it the bluetooth range in it the wi-fi range in it pretty good too it did its thing it plays really well um some people did play tricks on me by playing random songs with it from their phones because i couldn't control it properly the only control i had or have now 
is playing Bluetooth completely manually. I have no Alexa properly on this at all. I have no way of playing music from the cloud or from the internet directly from this device. All I can I'm do... I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Check out the help section in your Ultimate Ears app. Alexa, shut up. Okay. Um... So I can only stream stuff that I've got on my phone anyway. So this is just a very... I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Let's... Check out the help section yeah. in your Ultimate yeah. Ears app. Okay, okay, I will. There. Um, I can only play Bluetooth, over Bluetooth items I've got on my phone already. Which completely negates the point of this thing's price point. And even if this is waterproof, that isn't. So the ruggedness argument is a bit pointless, okay? But that said, this is a really, really nice Bluetooth speaker. Um, and I would use it for that purpose and will be using it for that purpose. Now, if I can get an Android 6 device here at home and set it up here on my Wi-Fi, I will be very, very happy with this. And I will happily tell you, I will retroactively give this a 4 out of 5 instead of a 3 out of 5. But I'm still going to take one off because the app is an absolute pain. It is a nightmare, okay? Um, we were installing the application and it was giving these, you know, quips and just, you know, tuning the air guitars and all these stupid comments. We just want to know the progress, Logitech. We just want to know it works. We, do, we don't want a, a, a crash course in stupid humor. We want to know it's doing something, trying to be funky and off the wall. It ain't working because it's not work. The, if it doesn't work, don't try and be funny. Don't invest time in a joke when this is a serious piece of equipment to buy. It is just ridiculous they've done that. I really, really hate it. Um, so, build quality, fantastic. Packaging quality, really, really good. Um, so here's the charger. The charger and the USB lead you get with it. Um, that USB lead you need okay for the docking station this is the entirety of the instructions that's it that is all of the instructions just that those few comments which tells you about manual pairing talking to alexa power on power off um and changing the uh the, the dummy the dongle at the bottom and i just think it's wonderful okay just let down totally by this app back in a second Okay, so the next piece that I have is I have been given the charging dock as well for this thing. There's instructions for the charging dock. Okay, and this is how it comes. It's called the power up. It comes just like this. And you get a silver copy of the dongle and this rather interesting plinth. Now, the plinth has got quite a nice non-slip uh, bottom on it. Um, it has a serial number and you have these three contacts on a mounted dome and you put the USB lead in there, okay? And what you do is you swap this out. This actually allows that center contact to go straight through and straight into the device, okay? So if we swap this again, okay? So we take off the black grommet, exposing this ring. We don't take the plastic ring off like we did before. We take this and we put it directly into the socket. And now the USB goes in this. This can be sat somewhere in a corner. And this sits on top absolutely perfectly. It is really nicely done that it mates up. Obviously, these outer contacts contact the ring. The inner contact provides power. I think it's really well done. It's really nice. That design is good. This design is bad. Okay. And the design of the app is just awful. It's just god awful that they don't do much with it. Now, to be fair, the app is useful to set up the Alexa side of things. But other than that, it's completely useless. It does allow you to easily mute the microphone. It does allow you to easily set a few items but essentially this thing you have to turn on your wi-fi your bluetooth and your location it implicitly asks about your location 
and on the knowledge base on Logitech's website it will ask you or there are questions asking about how do I install this somewhere else oh I bought this in one country and set it up and I've moved it to another country how do I use it so there are some sort of quibbly licensing things about taking this thing around therefore its strength is simply not as an Alexa device it is simply not as this active thing that they're really vaunting for it all the packaging talks about Alexa talk to this thing but its power is still primarily to me a Bluetooth speaker well only to me as a Bluetooth speaker because I only have Android 5 and so I cannot cannot set this thing up okay this is what's wrong I'm going to go on the knowledge base in a moment I'm going to post all this information that this is an Android 5 problem despite their packaging saying it supports Android 5 it does not we had to have an HTC at work that set it all up and the brand new Samsung phone also managed to set it up both being Android 6 or above there we go it's a real shame it has to be said again this is easily a five-star product easily a five-star experience for itself and the sound quality and the ruggedness but utterly and totally let down by the app utterly and totally let down the moment these hardware guys handed this over and went software guys make us an app they threw the baby out of the bathwater, and i have to currently give it a three i'd love to revisit it and give it a four which is better than the one I threatened Logitech with, the one I threatened them with on Twitter. Um, but I've had to do all the legwork. I have absolutely had to do everything to get to the bottom of this. Logitech, email, no help. Twitter, no help. Knowledge base, no help. Forum, no help. What can you say? No help.